Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us now stand and pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother. Who was conceived without original sin. Please kneel and let us all together pray the Novena Prayer. O Mary Immaculate, Lily, Lily of Purity, purity from, from the very first moment of your conception, conception, you were filled with grace. I thank and adore the Most Holy Trinity for having imparted to you sublime favors, such as bestowal on you of this great honor. And I prostrate myself before you to beg a share of your graces. To you, O oh Blessed Mother, I recommend myself, and I ask you to protect me against the dangers of body and soul, most especially from the temptations against purity. Do not forsake me, Blessed Mother, because my salvation might be in peril if you would not protect me. I pledge to keep myself in a life of grace, by imitating your virtues, and also through your glorious Immaculate Conception, I humbly implore you to grant me the special grace. Let us mention in silence our personal petitions. which I, I seek, seek to obtain, obtain in this novena. novena. Amen. Amen. Prayer on the sixth day. O Mother of sweet love and holy hope, before your feet I cast myself. Have compassion on us sinners and enlighten our minds so that we may return to the Christian ways and so that all the honors, joy, and sorrows that surrounded your life may bear fruit in us. My mother, may I always remain in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, Pray for us. Mother of mercy. Pray for us. Mother of divine grace. Pray for us. Mother of hope. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. 
Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise that my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Closing prayer. O most, o most blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, you who are preserved from the stain of original sin, sin most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our, our beloved, beloved land, land by your, by your good, good patronage, patronage as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. Amen. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us to have recourse to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please be seated and let us prepare for the Mass. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, 
that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the sixth day of our novena to the Immaculate Conception. Our presider in today's Mass is Reverend Father Reginald R. Malikdam, Rector of the Manila Cathedral. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to prepare for the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Virgin Mary, let us ask her intercession that, like her, we may also be good and obedient children of the Father, that like Mary, we may live lives that are pleasing to God. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist by humbly acknowledging our sins and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
O God, who fulfilling the promise made to our fathers, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, the noble daughter of Zion, grant that we may follow her example, for her humility was pleasing to you and her obedience profitable to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher, while from behind a voice shall sound in your ears. This is the way, walk in it. When you would turn to the right or to the left, he will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day, your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the asses that till the ground will eat salads tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord for he is good. Sing praise to our God for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel he gathers. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Please stand. The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, They are like sheep without a shepherd. This is the realization of Jesus after having visited many towns and villages in Galilee. Jesus observed that there were many people who are sick Many people are troubled and abandoned. Many people are lost. No one takes care of them. No one guides them. No one nourishes them. They are like sheep without a shepherd. Para silang mga tupa na walang pastol. Walang nag-aalaga, walang gumagabay, walang nagpapakain, kaya sila'y naliligaw, nawawala, pagod, may sakit, at lupaypay. And because of this, Jesus appointed His twelve disciples and sent them to a mission of shepherding. Jesus sent the twelve and gave them the instructions, cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Jesus sent the twelve in order to shepherd the people. Sila ang magpapastol sa mga tupang may sakit, pagod, at lupaypay. Sila ang magpapagaling. Sila ang magpapakain. Sila ang magbibigay ng lakas sa tupa. And Jesus did this because it is God's vision, it is God's dream that his people, his flock, will always be taken care of. This is what we heard in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
beautiful words from the Lord. The Lord said, The Holy One of Israel will come. And when He comes, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you. As soon as He hears you, He will answer you. He will give you the bread you need. He will give you the water for which you thirst. He will cure your diseases. He will nourish you. He will guide you. God will give a shepherd to his people. That is why Jesus in our gospel tells us, Yes, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest, pray to the Lord of the harvest, that he may send out more laborers for his harvest. Ask the good shepherd, so that he may raise up many good shepherds to take care of his flock. But my dear brothers and sisters, what Jesus saw in the towns and villages that he visited are the things and realities that we still see in our world today. Many people are tired. Many of us feel lost. Many of us are troubled. Many of us feel abandoned. Many do not even know what is right and what is wrong. Many do not know where to go. Many are despairing and hopeless. Kung ano yung nakita ni Jesus nung kanyang kapanahunan, Parang wala namang pinagkaiba sa karanasan natin ngayon. Marami pa rin ang may sakit. Maraming nagkakasakit. At pagod na tayong lahat sa pinagdaraanan nating krisis. But unlike the time of Jesus, when the problem that Jesus saw was that the people are like sheep without a shepherd. Nowadays, many are lost because the shepherd does not have any flock. The shepherd is without sheep. Kung yung nakita ni Jesus, sabi niya, ang mga tupa parang walang pastol. Sa panahon natin ngayon, marami ring nawawala dahil ang mga pastol ay walang tupa. And the shepherd are without the shepherds are without sheep because the sheep turns their back from the shepherds. Tinatalikuran ng mga tupa ang kanilang mga pastol. We think we do not follow the shepherds because we think we know better. We do not listen to the shepherds because we want them to say only the things that we want to hear. Hindi tayo nakikinig sa mga pastol kapag yung sinasabi ng pastol ay hindi maganda sa ating pandinig. Kapag hindi maganda sa ating pandinig ang sinasabi ng mga pastol, pinatatahimik natin ang mga pastol. 
Gusto nating ang sasabihin lamang ng mga pastol ay yung gusto nating marinig mula sa kanila. We do not obey shepherds because we know, we think, we know where to go. That is why many shepherds are left without any sheep. And because the sheep turns their back from the shepherds, the sheep are lost. They are abandoned. They feel troubled simply because they turn their back from the one who would take care of them, who would nourish them, and who would guide them. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a reality that we are all facing. And as a shepherd myself, bilang isang nagsisikap ding maging mabuting pastol katulad ni Jesus, Nadaram ako ang realidad na ito sa ating buhay. Ibang-iba na ang pagpapastol sa panahon ngayon. Napakalaking hamon ng maging mabuting pastol sa panahon natin ngayon. Dahil ang tupa, hindi basta-basta nakikinig, sumusunod sa pastol. And so, as we continue our preparations for the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, let us look at her as the perfect example of a good, faithful, and obedient sheep. Let us imitate Mary in her docility and in her openness to listen to the word of God, the shepherd. Let us emulate the example of Mary and be humble in accepting God's will for us. Bilang mga tupa, sana katulad ni Maria, matuto tayong makinig, Tumalima at sumunod sa ating mabuting pastol. My dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus saw that the people are like sheep without a shepherd, our gospel says, His heart was moved with pity. But the heart of Jesus continues to bleed if the sheep turns their back from their shepherds. And so it is not enough to ask God to give us good shepherds. We must also pray to God to make us good and obedient sheep. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be His ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. For every petition, let us say, Lord of the harvest, bless us. Lord of the harvest, bless us. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the harvest, harvest bless, bless us. us. That missionaries in foreign lands may be effective in bringing the gospel of salvation to all they meet by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord of, of the, the harvest, harvest bless, bless us. us. That parents may communicate their faith to their children by the holiness of their life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the harvest, harvest bless, bless us. That the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, the lonely, and the brokenhearted may feel the love of Christ through the care of their families and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the harvest, harvest bless, bless us. That those who have died may enjoy everlasting peace in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, the of the harvest, harvest bless, bless us. us. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, our Shepherd, guide our faltering steps as we walk on your path. Help us in our struggle. Encourage us in our doubts. Comfort us in our pain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation in which, fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers, is offered the true Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the ever-Virgin Mary in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the crown of Israel and the beginning of the Church, to reveal to all peoples that salvation is born from Israel and that your new family springs from a chosen root. She is by nature the daughter of Adam, who by her sinlessness undid the sin of Eve. She is by faith the true, true child of Abraham, who first believed and so conceived. She is, by descent, the branch from the root of Jesse, bearing the flower that is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us now pray together the prayer Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Refreshed, Lord God, by this living sacrament, we call out to you and pray that as we see in Christ, born of the Virgin, the promise to Israel fulfilled, so in his second coming may we attain the joyful fulfillment of all our hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga, ang ating ikaanim na misa nobena bilang paghahanda sa kapistahan ng kalinis-linisang paglilihi sa ating mahal na Birheng Maria. We also thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you for being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral and for your continued support to the missions of the Manila Cathedral. In a special way, we wish to thank our young brothers and sisters from the Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Parish in Kapas, Tarlac. Maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pagbisita ngayong umagang ito sa Manila Cathedral at sa inyong pilgrimage dito sa ating simbahan. Tomorrow, our 7th Novena Mass will be at 10 o'clock in the morning and 15 minutes before the Mass, we will have our Novena Prayers. On Wednesday, December 8, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening. The 6 o'clock evening Mass will be presided by our Archbishop, Jose Cardinal Advincula. And within that Mass, Cardinal Advincula will also be invested with the pallium which came from uh, Pope Francis. The pallium is a symbol of his being Archbishop, no? Archbishop of Manila. And so we invite you to, to these uh, uh, Masses so that we could worthily celebrate the solemnity of Our Lady. The other details of our activities and schedules here at the Manila Cathedral can be found at the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. Kaya po sana ay like, follow, and share natin ang ating Facebook page, the Manila Cathedral, so that we may be updated in our schedules and activities. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.